Okay, so now you guys were looking at the fetal monitor tracing, and you can hear the heart rate. This is the fetal heart rate that you're hearing, and that corresponds to the numeric value here on the top of the screen. Remember, this is the baby's heart rate, and this is the uterine contractions. So we can see our heart rates in the 140s. We can already see that there's average variability, because you can see that there's at least 6 to 25 beats of variance between the beats. But we're going to watch it for just a minute and see if we have any accelerations. Can you hear the baby's heart rate going? And you can hear the heart rate go up, and now you see a fetal acceleration. Um, this acceleration is a great acceleration, as it lasted 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 seconds. So um, that tells us there's great fetal well-being. Um, you can see there's no contractions down here, so this would be called a non-stress test because there are no contractions on the monitor. So we've already got one of our accelerations that we need, and of course we needed the acceleration to go up by 15 beats, last for 15 seconds, ours definitely did that, it went from 140 up to actually 180, and um, it lasted for again 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 seconds. So that was a really good acceleration. So let's see if we get one more. If we do, um, we will have a reactive non-stress test. See, no more contractions still. Here we go. And you can hear the heart rate accelerating audibly. And you can see the acceleration on the screen. Now it's coming back down. You can hear the change in the heart rate. So this one definitely met our criteria. It definitely elevated more than 15 seconds. I mean, it went up more than 15 beats and definitely lasted more than 15 seconds. You can see that this one lasted 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 seconds again. It elevated from 140s to 180s. So you can see that that was an elevation of 40 beats for 60 seconds. Definitely meets our criteria for a reactive non-stress test. Once again, a reactive non-stress test is two accelerations that meet criteria, which these both of these did, and a 10 to 20 minute tracing. And this is definitely um, within that timeline. You can see this is... Uh, approximately 10 minutes here um, and you can see there's average variability 6 to 25 beats variance in the heart rate and there are no contractions so that would be a non-reactive stress test and it would be a sign of good fetal well-being we know our placenta is doing great and our baby's able to get enough oxygen